Hi, I'm Emma Chamberlain. I'm a YouTuber and this is how I work it. I'm gonna take you through 24 hours of my beauty and wellness routine. Over the course of three years, I've created almost 250 YouTube videos. I started YouTube when I was 16. I'm now almost 19. In addition to YouTube, I also am present on every social media platform, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, any social media, I'm probably on there. I also have a podcast and I have a coffee company. That's about all I do. I would say the hardest part about doing what I do is the constant judgment, also the lack of privacy, but that is also what you sign up for. So I'm not complaining, but it is one of the worst parts and the haters, I hate to say it, I hate to even give them a little shout out. But the best part is the connection that I have with the people that watch my videos and enjoy my content. We've created a great community and that's a beautiful thing and that's definitely my favorite part. It's really, really special. Good morning. It is, what time is it? I think it's 10 a.m. Recently, I've been waking up at eight and then going back to sleep because I have nothing to do at eight in the morning right now. I wish that I could tell you that I wake up earlier than 10 a.m., but I don't. It's like, I can't, I, what am I gonna do at eight in the morning? Like, there's really no reason for that right now. It's not like I can go for a run or, oh, I could, but I'm not going to, so. Anyway. Since we've been staying home, my job actually hasn't really changed a lot. I created the majority of my content inside of my house anyway. Hi. So it's been pretty smooth. I'm really, really grateful that what I do is mainly house-based, so I've been really lucky. The second that I wake up, I walk downstairs and it's coffee time every single morning with no fail. Every morning I'm in a bad mood. I don't normally wake up this early. That's why I seem like I'm a brick with no brain right now, okay? It's just anger. Like I'm just running around like until I get my coffee. Every morning I make my own coffee that I created, which is weird. It's not weird, but it's weird to say to me still to this day. Today we're making my favorite Chamberlain coffee, cold brew. I make cold brew every night. 600 milliliters of water in a large mason jar, three coffee bags, mix it, and then you have cold brew for like three days. I put some ice, put some cold brew, put some almond milk, take some of my favorite vegan creamer to make it a little bit more creamy. I overfilled it. I will drink probably four of those in one day. Delicious. Make my coffee, take my Accutane. Acne medicine, you're supposed to take it with a form of fat. I always like to eat nut butter, but I ran out. So I have to eat a peanut butter cup. What a shame. That is my morning routine. <laughs> I wish that I was one of the people that, you know, meditated, did yoga, exercised early in the morning. Ow. I'm just not that type of gal. Today I'm gonna be recording a podcast. You know what's great about recording a podcast? I can look exactly like this and nobody will know. I tend to be really eager in the morning, so I wanna use that, you know? Instead of just throwing out that eagerness when I'm like washing my face. I feel like that's the best way to wake me up. It's like getting hit in the face with cold water, except I'm working. I wanna just get as many things done as I can before I like do my whole morning routine and all of that stuff. Can you guys stop? My cats are fighting outside of that door. Stop. I normally record my podcast in a studio and now I'm recording it at home. I record my podcast on the floor in my closet now. But I've actually really enjoyed that shift. I have this little mobile kit. It's pretty easy to use. You literally just power it on. Why did it not turn on? Oh, there it goes. And I talk into it in this room actually because there's all these like clothes and so there's less echo in this room than there is in my other rooms in my house. So I'm gonna get started recording. Rambles. Hi, welcome back to Anything Goes. I'm Emma, you guys know the drill. Usually if I have work early in the morning, it's either a call, a meeting, not right now though, a Zoom meeting, recording a podcast, scheduling things, going through emails, that's a big one. I'm so bad at email. I try to read them, but then I forget to respond and it's a mess. It's like, how am I supposed to sift through that? I'm busy playing Fortnite. I've been playing Fortnite to unwind in the morning once I'm done with my first few work things. Oh, guess what time it is. I'm not a gamer. Actually, I am. I don't know what I'm talking about. The fact that like this is a part of my daily routine. <laughs> Some people are doing yoga. And it's embarrassing, but I love it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm done with Fortnite. So I've been doing that. I should not be this good. There is no way I should be this good. 
So let's get into my morning routine. Once I'm done with my first few items of work and I'm ready to kind of maybe feel presentable, maybe just take care of my skin. When it comes to skincare, I switch it up. Whatever products I have in my drawer at the moment, that's what I'm using. I have been using Sarah Bay Hydrating Facial Cleanser. Super affordable and amazing. I try to keep it really simple with my skincare because I used to do a bunch of stuff and it never worked. Right now I'm using like a sensitive skin oil. Face oils, I've just noticed, help your skin stay hydrated for longer. I'm on Accutane, which is an acne medicine. It makes my skin super dry. I've never been shy about my acne. This zit won't pop. I tried to pop it, now it just looks ugly. I just really wanted clear skin and nothing was working and my dermatologist told me to go on Accutane and I was like, I'll do anything at this point. It's not for everybody. It causes a little bit of back pain and you break out pretty bad in the beginning. But you know, my skin's really dry. I'm always carrying around Aquaphor everywhere, literally, because my lips are always dry. I read online that this stuff, lanolin cream, is great for your lips. It is nipple cream, but I use it on my lips. This has cured my lips during Accutane. Oh, I also need to brush my teeth, I forgot. So, let's get right into it. I really do not have a strict routine in any way, shape, or form. I'm not gonna act like I have some sort of elaborate plan every day, okay, because I don't. I'm probably gonna go lay back in bed and relax for a little bit longer until I can figure out what I wanna do with my day. See you guys soon. <sighs> mm. So I did just lay in bed for a few hours um, and it was great. I decided I'm going to film a video today, but number one, I need coffee. The content of the video determines the type of prep that I need to do to film. Although I feel like filming videos for me is like very low prep, just because everything that I post is very raw and real, so I just turn on my camera and film what's going on. But sometimes I like to put on a little bit of makeup. Sometimes I want to put on makeup to film, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I want to just put on makeup for no reason, sometimes I don't. I don't really like the look or the feel of wearing a lot of makeup. I mean, it can be fun like maybe twice a year. I like to do my makeup in like under 15 minutes. I am not a pro at makeup. I am completely the opposite. So let's get started. I'm a big fan of really light foundations or light BB creams, light CC creams. Recently I've been using the Kosas Tinted Skin Oil. It is so nice and thin and light. To be completely honest, if it was up to me, I'd never wear makeup again. I do like it though but I hate the feeling. I'm torn. I've always been torn on my makeup opinion. I, I like putting it on. I'm just super lazy about it. So it doesn't usually come out as well as it should. <laughs> that looks good enough. Next, I will be taking some concealer. I recently I've been liking the Chanel one to cover my blemishes. Oh my God, I have a huge zit right here. That's nice and big. And then I use this for my under eyes because it's a little bit of a lighter color. So it kind of highlights my face. Look at me, acting like I know what the f I'm talking about. Then we just blend it all in. Everyone looks different on camera and in person. Everybody, it's so bizarre. Like when I look in the mirror versus when I look in the, like whatever that's called, the flip out screen, like I look different. My makeup looks really odd on camera. I promise you it doesn't look that weird in the mirror. Although I don't know which is more accurate, the camera or my mirror could be either. I don't know what I look like anyway. Cause I don't, I've never seen myself from another point of view. Oh my God, I just kind of thought about that. That's something to think about in the shower later. I will save it, sorry. The main thing when I'm filming is making sure that I put a lot of setting powder on because it's really easy to look shiny on camera. Not even baking your face, but just lightly brushing powder all over your face before you film, it solves all the problems. So I make sure to powder it up a little bit, especially under my eyes too. And that's that. This is the Marc Jacobs bronzer that I broke the first day I got it. <laughs> just lightly bronze. That was not very light actually around the rim of my face. I literally don't know what I'm doing. Buff it out a little bit so it looks a little bit less harsh. After that, I add my bronzer onto my lid just to kind of add some definition to my lid, make it pop a little bit more. And I think it's nice to use a little extra highlight too because I feel like highlight looks really, really nice on camera. And this Milani highlighter that I got so long ago, probably four years ago. Actually, no, not four years ago, maybe three years ago. That's better. I highlight my nose and my lip a little bit, under my brows, in my inner corner, and then right above whatever this is, cheek bone. Then I take my favorite Maybelline Great Lash and I do my eyebrows. I don't really color them in or anything, I just lightly comb them. 
and just so that they stick in place all day, but I don't really do much to them. Next, I'm gonna take this Beauty Counter uh, eyeshadow palette. It has some nice neutral colors. I will take a short little angled brush and I will draw kind of like eyeliner on my upper and lower lash line. I think this just really makes my eyes pop because my eyes are blue and this is like orange and those are complementary colors. So doing like eyeliner with uh, eyeshadow is like one of the best hacks I ever learned. It's just so much easier and there's so much more room for mistakes, which is great for me because I make a lot of mistakes. It's cool. All right, now I'm gonna take this really shimmery white color and put that in my inner corners because I really like to have a bright inner corner. I'm not really in the mood to do blush today because my complexion has been looking a little bit red. So I feel like that redness shows through my makeup and actually makes me look like I already have blush on. So I'm not gonna add to that storm. My lips are extremely dry right now and I need to exfoliate them, but I did forget. So we're just gonna use my hoodie to wipe them, which is gross, but like this hoodie's gonna go in the wash when I change. So can we all relax? Thank you. Daily, I use the Too Faced Lip Injections Lip Gloss. It makes your lips look so plump and full naturally. I'm gonna try out this Benefit Roller Lash. I've never tried it. This actually is a really great mascara so far. And also doing extra mascara because mascara just disappears on camera. So I put extra, make it extra thick. Wow, that really made my eyelashes look long. This might be a new favorite. Ow, I just poked myself in the eye. I'm gonna be using the Kosas Hyaluric Lip Balm. Just put this over my lip gloss a little bit to add some color. So here's my makeup, final makeup. Thoughts? I think it looks pretty good today. And then if I'm not wearing makeup, I just try not to put oil on before I film because then my skin will look oily. And that's that. Anyway, I'm gonna go, actually my food is almost here. Oh, my food is here. Hold on, more on this in a second. Okay, it's time to eat. So I've actually never tried this. It's like a vegan protein bowl. Looks quite healthy. Let's give it a little try. Oh, that's great. Um, so I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna film a video, and then I will see you guys after, and we'll see what I end up doing. Peace. For my nails, I normally have gel acrylic nails. Not too long, but you know, just a little bit added. Sadly, right now, all my nails fell off, and I don't really have any nail polish, because I normally go to the salon. So I ordered a gel nail kit, so that I can do my own gel nails, the LED light thing. Really excited about that, we'll keep you guys posted on that. I miss my long nails. I don't feel like a bad bitch without them. When it comes to like immediately before filming, I do like to have a coffee just cause it's an excuse to have a coffee. I don't think it actually affects my performance. I think it's just cause I want an excuse to have another one. Sorry, the burp. I think the thing about me that's a little bit different maybe than other YouTubers is that I really genuinely roll with it. I'm literally about to torture myself for 24 hours. Like, I don't know why I'm doing this, but like I really want to because I feel like it'd be fun. It's so random and it's so like spontaneous and that's why I like it. Um, I might be doing something kind of stupid. I don't have to plan anything. I get an idea sometimes at 11 p.m. and I'm like, I'm just gonna film it now. Uh, I needed this. Sometimes I plan a video for a few weeks and I have to like shop for a few things or like write down like a layout about how to do it but that's pretty rare and even then it's still very spontaneous as I think my entire YouTube career has just been me going with it and not really strategizing anything which is some people have judged me for in this community but it's what works for me so whatever one of my favorite beauty related if you will videos that I've ever made was me preparing for Coachella it's Coachella season baby <laughs> I love Coachella. I love to talk about it uh, every opportunity I get. I don't know why. I'm kind of embarrassed about how much I care about it, but at least I'm like self-aware and I know that it's stupid that I care this much about it. So it's like fine, right? And there is a lot of prep that goes into Coachella. And last year I did a bunch of weird stuff. Okay, I have no idea what color I'm getting my nails done. It's just a lot on my plate right now. It's kind of pathetic and that's why I like to share it. So obviously Coachella was canceled this year, very sad, but it had to, it had to be done. But I love making YouTube content around Coachella because I just think it's so fun. And also because I like to watch it. And this year there was no Coachella videos for me to watch. And that made me sad. So I got the idea. I was like, I'm gonna make Coachella at home. Right now would have been day three of Coachella. Why not throw my own little Coachella at my house? It's gonna be kind of stupid. This is home Coachella, and I can kind of wear whatever I want because nobody's gonna see it. But 
that's exactly why it's gonna be great. Coachella is amazing. I think the way to create content during this time is number one, to be honest, but also not to be negative. I'm gonna be showing you all of the outfits I'd be wearing if I was not stuck at home. Roll the clip. There's so many negative emotions going around right now, and I don't want to add to that. But I also don't want to ignore it because it's something that we're all dealing with. Thinking of you all, praying for you all, always, but especially right now. I just think that being positive and making the most of every single situation in life is the only way to get through something. So that's what I'm trying to put out there. I would hope it's a little bit helpful, maybe. And if not, I'll just keep on trying. I feel like the people that maybe connect and can relate to me the most are girls my age, just because we have a lot in common. Being a teenager is really mentally tough in general, but especially right now. I'm not too obsessive when it comes to comments, unless it's like extremely, extremely positive or extremely, extremely negative. Let's just see what we have here. Jesus, she's annoying, okay. I try my best to look past these and only pay attention to the nice ones, and those ones really pull at my heartstrings. So I don't really read much of my comments just because it can be really toxic for me and take me away from what really matters, which is just making content that I enjoy and having fun with it. And I always get really good responses from my cooking videos. All I really know how to do right now is cook because there's not a lot of other activities to participate in. So we're cooking again. I like to film cooking videos, but I always feel like they might be boring. You don't need to make something super complicated. Like, just make something that's fun, but in healthy and good for you, and or maybe not, I don't know. But you know, sometimes it's good to be, I don't care, just cook something. I'm not giving a tutorial, I'm just hanging out with the camera. And I love that, but I always psych myself out about that. Why can I not cook? Because I'm like, do people want to hang out with me? And then sometimes people do, that feels really great. And sometimes people don't, that's cool too. I film everything myself. I do not edit by myself anymore though. I have found an editor. He's amazing, his name is Anderson. I think that he captures a different side of me that I wasn't able to do myself. And I think I didn't even realize how much work it is to do every element of a production. Filming, editing, being the personality on camera, doing all of that, it's not sustainable mentally because you can't, you can't continue to do that forever. On a day that I'm filming, I could be in the process of filming anywhere between two and six hours, sometimes multiple days, but like I have usually like an hour of footage. Just cause I don't like to over film, I only like to turn on the camera when it's necessary. It's hard for me to know how similar my real personality is to my on camera personality, but according to everybody I've ever met, it says I'm exactly the same. I would like to think that's true. I'm not gonna make a conscious effort to change my personality for the camera. That's not always been the case, but for the past probably two years, it's been that way. A lot of people miss the old me. I feel like I like myself better now because I'm more myself than I've ever been. What you see is what you get. When it comes to creating content for other platforms, I wing it. Like TikTok is random, Twitter is random. I just have fun with it. I like taking Instagram photos because I like wearing fun outfits. Express myself with my fashion or just like post random sh Like those other platforms, it's more like of a fun activity than it is like anything else. I usually like to work out in the evenings. I don't wanna do this. Normally I do cycling classes, but because we're locked at home, I can't. So recently what I've been doing is I will do jump rope. Watch my tricks. Ooh. I'm trying to be like efficient. Like I don't like to waste any time. Unless I'm playing Fortnite, then I am in fact wasting time. But that was also planned. You know what I mean? As long as I get everything done. I am a huge advocate of using a planner though. Everything is written in my planner. So there is like an element of organization, but when it comes to an actual routine, I don't got it. <laughs> I've never analyzed my day like this and now it's making me think I'm psychotic. Cause I'm like, why do I live the way that I do? I don't know why this interview is giving me all these shower thoughts for later. Anyway. Okay guys, I am finally done recording my video. It is now 11.30. Sometimes this happens. The day will get away from me. We need to start the nighttime routine. So I'm gonna take a shower tonight. I like to get my makeup completely off before I get into the shower just because so that I can even get a better clean when I'm in the shower. I use different makeup wipes literally every week. It just depends on what I'm feeling that day, but recently I've been using the simple ones. Okay, so once I get most of my face makeup off, I feel like it's a struggle to get my eyes off, so I have an eye makeup remover that I specifically use for my eyeballs. Neutrogena oil-free eye makeup remover. My mom has used this since I was younger, and when I got older and I needed an eye makeup remover, this was in my house, and it's amazing, so.
Now that all my makeup is off, it's time to get into the shower. I love showering before bed. It's a nice treat. I love getting into bed feeling super clean and like having my hair wet. I really like to sleep with my hair wet. It feels nice, although I don't wash my hair every night because I dye the underneath part of my hair blonde and I don't want to be stripping it of its oils every single day. So I use this. When it comes to hair, I don't really do much to it. I mean, dry shampoo. I use the dry bar dry shampoo. It's great. I use Function of Beauty's shampoo and conditioner, but right now I'm using one called like, I have no idea, it's Swedish. I like the Function of Beauty hair serum. Put that on after the shower, brush it with a wet brush, done. Really, really don't do much to my hair. I can't curl my hair, so I don't ever curl it, but I will straighten it occasionally. But I like it air dried and kind of just tossed around. Now it's time to shower. Obviously I'm wearing clothes right now. Those will be coming off in the shower, very obviously. Oh. Okay, see you in a sec. <laughs> I definitely know and am aware of my responsibility to be sending out the right messages. All you can do is be a good person in real life and be a good person on camera. And I do believe that if you're doing your best to be a good person, like there's a lot that can be avoided through that. A lot. I'm not saying everything, but I'm just saying a lot can be avoided from truly living a life where you're being a good person. Because I think that some people aren't being honest about that. And I would really hope that I am. I'm doing my absolute best to do that. Oh my, we have a visitor. He literally just propped up in the most perfect way. This was literally his little, his little sign to me. Okay, I'm out of the shower. Now it's time for skincare. So I washed my face in the shower with the same face wash that I did earlier, which is this one. And then I put on the same face oil that I did this morning. I'm a creature of habit, if you can't tell. Rub this all over. And then I use this Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment under my eyeballs, just a little bit. And then I brush my teeth and then I go to bed. Throughout the day I'm thinking or working or thinking some more, even in my dreams. Sometimes I'll dream about something and I'll literally wake up and be like, oh, that's a great idea. The last few nights I've been doing really good. Going to sleep at midnight. The other night I went to bed at 11.30. I was actually worried about myself. I was like, that is so abnormal, are you okay, you know? But last night I went to bed at three. So it just depends. It depends on how much coffee I drink and there's just no predicting it. It's just one big organized mess. All right, guys, that was my day. I'm exhausted, so I need to go to sleep. But thank you all for watching. Thank you all for coming along on this journey with me. And thank you, Allure, for having me. And that's all she wrote. Goodbye, everyone. Good night.